Hi, welcome back to my channel. Keeping it seasonal, today's story is the Nativity story as written in the Gospel of Matthew, in the Bible. Please like and subscribe and help us reach the magic number of 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Thank you. Now I hope you're sitting comfortably and if you have a mug of hot cocoa and a crackling fire, all the better. So now without further ado, let's begin. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with a child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord the prophet Isaiah, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated as God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her until she brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and, and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which had, they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come to the house, they saw a young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country, another way. Now when they departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy his life. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled with what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts, from two years old and under, according to the time which he determined from the wise men. Then was fulfilled 
what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted, because they were no more. Now when Herod was dead, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Whilst I'm not a scholar of the Bible, I can appreciate in this story the parallels of the early life of Jesus and the history of the Israelites. How they fled to Egypt, the command of the Pharaoh to kill the newborn Jewish boys, and their return to Israel, detailed in the book of Exodus. The quote of prophecy, Hosea 11.1, 1, Out of Egypt I called my son, refers to Israel being brought out of captivity in the Old Testament as son can refer to the whole nation of Israel, which non-believing Jews will maintain as the only interpretation of this prophecy. Here, however, Jesus represents Israel as he flees to Egypt and fulfills his prophetic calling as the true Son of God by coming out of Egypt. The prophecy regarding the Nazarene hasn't exactly been identified. It's possible that it's a reference to Isaiah 11.1 and the Nazarite and Judges 13.5. What can be said about the above, about the move to Nazareth, is that Archelaus, Herod's heir, was eventually banished by Augustus Caesar for his cruelty, and it was this cruelty that Joseph was warned about in a dream. Galilee was then ruled by another of Herod's sons, Herod Antipas. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it enough to hit the like button and either way please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this story. The next video will be a story from Irish mythology so stay tuned for some gods and their crazy antics coming to you in the next few days. Oh, so